Welcome everyone, this is another tutorial for SM Edit, the external editing tool for StarMade. Today I'm going to be looking at the installation process. Some people have been coming unstuck and some changes have been made to the program to make it easier for you to install and, uh, any, uh, and so on. So, we're going to go to starmadewiki.com slash wiki slash SM Edit. Okay, the address will be in the description and then we're going to click on download. Obviously it's a good idea to have a little read on this page but we're going to move on for this video. So download. It'll take you to the starmademultiverse.com. These guys are hosting the download for the devs of SMNIT. Okay, so you will need to sign in to this uh, particular website just so you've got access and to download the file. Now, there's a, an error message here at the moment. I would ignore it. However, um, I would ignore this message and it may not even be here when you come around to downloading it. Um, I will show you now if we click download and then agree and download. And as you can see, this is the reason. The uh, message said there are two files. People are confused. Um, I would say download the bigger file because if the code has been improved there will be more code therefore the file size will be higher so it's only a guess he might have optimized it and made it smaller but I'm guessing to use the larger file for this hopefully by the time you get here there will be either only one link or there will be versions listed here so I'm going to click download on the larger one and once it's downloaded we're going to open our primary StarMade installation and then we're going to go open the StarMade folder and then we're just going to drop the SM edit file into the white space. After that's done double click and it will say there's a new version, we'll say yes and it's even showing us with little pop-ups it's just downloaded joesm.jar and put that in the right place and then put the Joe file mods in as well in the right place. It actually tells you now that it's doing it, so you know it works. So we've got the modif modify, you've got a couple of new commands on here, which is pretty cool. And uh, the newest feature is it'll import schematics now without needing to uh, do any other tools. So that's pretty much it for installation. Um, just to double check that you have got it installed in the right place. What you want to do is open up your StarMade installation. See, that's the starter that I normally use to run the game. Go into the StarMade folder. You'll see a folder called Joe underscore plugins, and you will also see a folder called Joe underscore SM. I'd recommend that you launch it with SM Edit because it will double check and auto download a new version if there is one for you. Okay, so that's it for installation. Uh, watch out for the next guide coming very soon, and thanks for watching.